Welcome to this guide uh, on how to animate uh, an animal. Now, the animal I'm looking at today is a mammoth, and I've got my picture here of the mammoth, and I'm wanting to animate him and make his legs walk along. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to YouTube, and I've got a picture of a, or a video of a tiger on a green screen. Uh, and what I'm going to do is actually just take a couple of screenshots uh, of the, the tiger's walk. So let's just see first of all if we can get to the same place of that the, the mammoth is at. Uh, let's see. It's roughly like that one. Two front feet are on the ground and one of the back legs is, is coming up. So. I'm going to come and uh, take a screenshot first of all of that position and come into Photoshop and paste the, the this the screenshot as a layer onto a new document. I'm then going to come back and just hit the play and then pause really quickly just so I can grab uh, the next sort of movement. So there I've got the next movement which is print screen and I'm just going to paste it again onto the next layer and do the same again so pause, just really fast click pause, play and pause so, so that one isn't really much of a change, I'm looking for one that is a change which is again that one so there we go, paste on there and then try again so again that's not much of a change there we do have a change there so let's paste that on there and let's just go through the layer and just See if we've got enough. Oh. See if we've got enough to. That looks okay to me. Let's just get one more. That's, that one looks like the one that we started with. Actually, let's have a look. Yeah, it's not far off. All the all the feet are on the floor. I don't think we've got that one yet. No, so that's going to be our last one. Let's get that one with all the feet on the floor. So that makes sense. That gives us four screenshots. Uh, we've got our five screenshots all together. This one is, I'm just going to rename this and just call it All Feet on Floor. And let's see, that one's side. That one's, I'm going to say, right hand side up. Right side up. And say right back up. And then this one's going to be the same as well, except this is going to this should be the left hand side, so let's say so yeah, left up. Left side up. And then this will, this should be left back up, which it is. That's right. So that makes sense. That gives us a symmetrical set of images. One, two, three, four, five. Just play those through again, just to make sure. So that looks okay to me. So that's the first step in just getting the, the motion of what your animation is going to be doing. So what we're doing next is I'm just going to have a look at the original mammoth drawing that I've got and I'm just going to notice something that the, the legs seem to be a bit wonky uh, because if we come and look at the tiger and we look at the back leg being up here, the, the left back up, we can see that the, uh, the, the the paw to this side is now closest to the one up. So if we look at the mammoth, we can see that's the wrong way around here. So this one should actually be back, and this one in the back should actually be in the, in the front. So that's fine, I'm going to change that. But the first thing I'm going to do is just 
go to layer properties and now just name this in the same way that I've named the, the tiger one. So I'm just going to say left back up. And that allows me to then come back in. I can do an edit on the drawing, which I'll do just now, and change it so the, the leg matches what we have in our original tiger one. So here we are with the adjusted mammal legs, and as you can see, they represent a bit of a, a closer match to the, the left backup that we're, we're looking at. So now I'm just going to go on and do the next drawing, which is left side up. So I'm just going to come back to my mammal and just redraw everything and just change the legs up to match that. So as you can see I've just finished doing the legs for the left side up and I've tried to match that as closely as possible again with the with the tiger uh, so that looks okay so we've got two uh, two layers now let's have a look now the other thing that I've done is when I've been drawing the the layers I haven't copied and pasted the layer I've just went over uh, the the layer just with a few adjustments and minor changes just to give a natural feeling that the animal is actually moving. Uh, I've changed the trunk most significantly and I'm going to do that again on the on the next frame. So see you in a minute. So here we go, finished all the, the animations or the screenshots for the animations I've got all the feet on the floor, matching up with the tiger, right side up, and again, that matches with the with the tiger. So we've got we've got one, two, three, four, five shots. So now that I've got all the layers finished, I'm just going to open up Adobe Flash and. I'm going to come up and grab my PSD and pull it into Flash and it's going to give me the option to import all the layers and I'm just going to make sure that the layers that I've left off are the original layer and the background layer so I, I've got the, the option then to convert layers to and I'm going to click keyframes and click OK now that'll give me the each of the each of the pictures is a keyframe here, but it's going to be too fast when I animate it. So I've got five frames, I'm going to pull them up and just split them between 40, click hold and drag 30, click hold and drag 20, click hold and drag and 10. And then if I come up and say test movie, it should show us the, the mammoth walking which it is, it does change a little uh, that's because of some of the things that I've done when I've been drawing it over so I can see the any of the changes that I need to make one of the frames here doesn't have the the back part or the back uh, fur bit drawn in so I can go in and, and change that uh, but this is what I need to f now just import uh, into Illustrator and I can now use the pen tool and just make more accurate uh, sketch of sort of each of the frames. I'm quite happy that overall that the the mammoth is is looking correct. Uh, obviously, it's going to look much better once we've used the pen tool and coloured it in. So now on to the final stage, and I'm going to do that in another video.